In this video, we will talk about some of the best dieting practices that will help you be successful and reach your fitness goals. Number one is having a meal schedule. If you already have a predetermined meal schedule, this will increase your chance of success and make it super simple to stay on track. After a while, you'll just get used to it and you won't even have to think about it. It just becomes your habit and your diet becomes the part of your lifestyle. You will roughly know at what time you're gonna have a meal. You'll figure out when you need bigger and when smaller portions. That being said, you definitely want to have at least three protein meals during the day. That's the minimum if you want to have good results. Ideally, you will have five. That will give you the maximum results. And if it's hard for you to have that many protein meals, you can have protein shakes, protein bars, or other types of snacks in between, just to help you reach your daily protein goals. Regarding the timing, you will spread these protein meals every three to four hours. So you can also have other snacks in between, like fruit or something. Just make sure that every three to four hours you get your protein. If the gap between these meals is too big, you will end up being hungry, which is not what we want. Number two, eat similar meals day to day. Your meals don't have to be identical each and every day, but when you do figure out what works for you and you enjoy it, then just keep smashing it. There's no reason to go for more diversity if, uh, if you're getting good results. Eating similar meals every day makes it pretty hard to mess up. It's usually when you're introducing new things into our diet, into a lifestyle that things get a bit out of control. Predictability is the key to success. When you're just being a boring guy, doing your thing each and every day and staying consistent with it over a long period of time, that's when you get the best results. If you follow the diet for a month, and you've lost 10 pounds, then you know it's working. You just have to keep doing it until you, until you don't get where you want to be. I don't say you have to be super boring and just eat chicken, rice and broccoli every day, but you can have like 10 to 15 meals that you, that you really like and you rotate those meals so, so it doesn't get too monotonous. Number three, get hydrated. Drink a lot of water. If your piss is clear or very slightly yellow, it means that you are well hydrated. If it's very strong brownish, then you need to drink more water. Keep in mind that not being well hydrated will decrease your performance in the gym. Another important reason to hydrate yourself is to decrease the appetite if you're in a weightless diet. That can be pretty helpful, so make sure that you drink enough water. Make it a habit that you drink a large glass of water next to your meals or during the day. Have a glass of water sitting on your desk while you are at work, something like that. Number four, standardize your salt intake. If you're sometimes having a ton of salt in your meals and sometimes you don't have much salt, then this can cause huge fluctuations in your body weight due to differences in water retention. So, if you ingest a lot of sodium, you will be extra thirsty and you'll have to drink a ton of water. That's gonna get you more bloated. And when you step on the scale, then don't be surprised that you have gained extra two or three pounds over the night. Same goes if you don't ingest much sodium the next day, for example. You will be pissing all the water away, which will cause you to lose all that extra water weight and the numbers on the scale will be dropping like crazy. So keep that in mind because it can be very difficult to track your progress if that's constantly happening. So we will, we will be comparing our medial weight on the weekly basis to reduce the error, but still it's important that you know that these details can affect your weight. So don't start freaking out if you see such fluctuations in your body weight. Anyways, by making sure that your salt intake is approximately the same from day to day and that you're drinking approximately the same amount of water, that's gonna make it much easier to ensure that you're on the right track. 
So these were the four general tips I wanted to give you. In the next videos, we will talk specifically about the weight loss and weight gain strategies. Make sure to watch these and then we're going to talk about supplements. Bye.